tell us a little bit about what you're seeing then in the industry now and, and where um, compensation models, we, we're using that term a lot, but I don't know what else to set, call it. Um, uh, how, how it's changing nowadays. What, what are people, what are employees looking at and what are employers looking at? Yeah, well, there are really some major shifts happening right now in the industry across the country, um, really unlike anything that we've ever seen. And, 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 we, and let's put COVID aside for a second. That, that's another conversation entirely. But even without that, now that we're sort of moving, thankfully, uh, to, back to some degree of normalcy, you have um, the, the process of becoming a physical therapist is more expensive than it has ever been in the history of our profession. So that's number one. Um, number two is reimbursement is continuing to decline. So you have graduates coming into the marketplace, really not even necessarily expecting to earn a certain amount, but really needing to earn a certain amount just to make yeah. ends meet because they have so much debt. And then simultaneously, the revenue that they're generating for services rendered is lower than it probably was two years ago or three years ago through no fault of their own. Right. So this creates sort of a point of critical mass. And we're at the point right now where historically practice owners felt that they had to essentially roll out the red carpet for employees and basically give them whatever they wanted right. uh, in order to get a therapist in the door. If they tell me that they need to make X, I have to be able to pay them that, even if paying them results in me losing money as a practice or as an owner or jeopardizing the financial viability of the company. In order sure. to get licenses in the door, that's what I have to do. What's changing now is that we're seeing practices essentially get to the point of critical mass where these owners are saying, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Uh, I, there's, there's no room left for me to just keep giving more and more and more without tying it some way to production or relative value revenue brought into the practice. So you are already starting to see practices trying to come up with their own models yeah. uh, to address this issue. And so for that reason, when we talk to practices who are interested in making a change, many of them have already been thinking about these concepts, but some of them are just not quite sure how to go about it. Right. Uh, but but it's very it would be very difficult to find a practice owner across the country today who would say changing and reforming compensation structures in the rehab industry is a bad idea. Just about everybody agrees we have to do it. We're 10 years behind every other healthcare profession who has already long since switched compensation structure it's typical but for whatever reason we as the as the physical therapy industry are lagging behind so we all realize that we're just not quite sure what to do about it 